Hi everyone and welcome to the Beastmasters Dojo. In this video we are going to talk about a little bit about normalization and how we can implement uh, normalization data services as part of our software asset management implementation. So what is normalization? Uh, if we talk about it in general terms, normalization is basically the process of organizing the data in a database and it also makes our database more flexible by eliminating redundancy and inconsistent dependencies here and there. Now, uh, a beautiful example of this could be, for example, my company table is having uh, data related to Microsoft, but the company name is somewhere mentioned as Microsoft. In a couple of other places, it is mentioned as Microsoft Corporation. And in some other places, it is mentioned as Microsoft XYZ Private Limited, so and so. So it basically normalizes that whole data into just one normalized value so that if we are referring to the company table anywhere, it picks up the normalized value name as just Microsoft, not the other XYZ values, which gives us a bad impression whether it belongs to the same organization or a different organization. Now coming to the plugin part, so we will be implementing this with the help of a normalization data services plugin. So this plugin helps us to maintain the consistency for table field that refer to a company name. Now if you're planning to normalize the data, not only for the company field, but some other fields as part of your not only SAM implementation, but some other implementation, then there's another plugin called field services. So that can also be used. But before implementing and setting up the normalization data services plugin, you need to make sure whether the normalization has already been set up via the field normalization plugin. So if I go to the uh, all configuration in the field normalization, I can see whether anything was set up in the past or not. So here I can see that uh, some values were normalized for computer table, then few others were normalized for user table. And then there's one normalization as an example, which is basically a demo data in my personal instance, was done for the company table as well. So, before implementing this normalization data services plugin, just make sure you are reviewing everything that is mentioned in the field normalization plugin with reference to the core underscore company table because you won't would not want to override what was previously developed. So it's a good practice to make sure that you are not implementing the same thing again. So the basic difference between the two is field normalization plugin configuration is more of a manual configuration which you need to do manually by uh, adding the normalized values and creating certain rules. And when we talk about the normalization data services plugin, it is more of an automated thing via a guided setup. So let's see how we can do that. So here I am within the guided setup of normalization data services plugin. Let's click on get started. So plugin is active. Let's mark it as complete. Uh, now let's so let's click on start download and it can take up to maximum of one hour as mentioned in the text message in the pop-up. So let's wait a couple of seconds or minutes and see how much time it is going to take.
Okay, so finally it is completed now. And we can simply close this dialog box. And the next step is to update the reference qualifiers. Let's click on configure. So here I can see there are a total of 2280 reference qualifiers that need to be updated. So service now might not be able to update all of them by default. We will have to interfere manually once this update process is complete. So let's click on start update for now and see how it goes. Okay, so ServiceNow ha has completed the update process in the backend and out of 2280 reference qualifiers, ServiceNow could not update for 1430. Uh, so we will have to manually take care of this and how we will exactly do that is and no need to be afraid of uh, just by looking at the numbers here because uh, most of them are having a parent-child relationship when it comes to uh, the tables or the fields so I think it the number is not more than 10 or 20 or maybe a max to max 25 or 30 in the back end it's just that in the front end it looks like 1439 so let's see how we can do that. So I'll try to open this one in a new tab. So Okay, it says vendor is to the reference is company. Uh, so I want to update this one. And the only thing that we need to do over here is add another condition that says normalize this to. I'm going to click on update now. We also need to uh, make sure we are looking at the right count. So I will add another condition over here that says uh, maybe add another column in the list view that says condition because we need to exclude everything that where we have added normalization condition like normalizes to. the backend name we are looking at okay it is reference qualify condition I was just searching via the name condition so let's add this to the list view and click on ok So the backend name of normalized field is canonical equals to 2. Does not contains. Because it would mean the normalization is set as 2. Okay. Now 
let's take a look at another record uh, this is one such example uh, where I was referring to something called a uh, clone descendant element where if we update one the rest which are cloned will be taken care automatically so let's go to the editable element and we need to add a condition over here and it is already updated so we don't need to worry about that one as well so let's close this maybe we need to reload the form and you can see it is already updated because we updated the parent one already after updating two more the count has come down to nine so let's take a look at these as well i'll do it quickly in the back end okay so we are done now and i guess uh, overall the number of reference qualifiers that i've updated manually uh, accounts to nine plus six total uh, 18 or 19 that i've manually updated which took care of around uh, 1439 reference qualifiers we just needed to add that normalization condition whether normalized is true or not and it just works fine and now we can close this dialog box and we can mark this task as complete and our next step is to go to normalization properties and select whatever we want to and exclude the others okay uh, i would want this one so this is for manufacturer names uh, normalize let's click yes on this i want discovery to use the normalization service for manufacturer name that's true so i want to enable the normalization api and i want to normalize the existing core company record so let's save these property values so properties are updated i can also close and mark this as complete now the next step is to normalize configuration items let's click on configure now i want to normalize the data in the cmdb oh this was quick so normalized manufacturers are updated in the cmdb which we can verify by going to any of the cmdb tables and looking at the company or manufacturer field values so i can mark this one as complete as well now go to normalize configuration items and let's click on update since uh, this is just a PDI and there is not much data uh, it is not taking enough time uh, there is only demo data available in the instance so I guess that's the reason it is being done very quickly but we can review a couple of records once we are done setting it up so this is done too now i would want to normalize software asset management let's click on configure and let's normalize the data present in all the software asset management tables and the below list also shows us what exactly is being normalized so this is complete as well so the following fields are normalized so this is the whole list like manufacturer publisher ma publisher manufacturer and so on all these fields on all these uh, tables and fields are uh, like normalized uh, for different different parts of the plugins like this is for the foundation data then this one for the professional core and so on and if i mark this activity as complete as well then my normalization data services plugin setup is complete now now let's review some information in the company table uh, like how the normalized data appears and uh, what it actually looks like inside the system so let me search for the around 57000 company records in this 
code underscore company table so let me search with let's say oracle so you can see there are so many uh, names like total around nine uh, different values are present which contains oracle in the word uh, in the name field but if you see over here not everything is normalized so this one is normalized when it comes to oracle let's open this one and there are a total of like 322 uh, mappings with this company name and the common normalized name for all those mappings is oracle Also, let's take a look at some of the data in the configuration item table. So I've added a filter of Oracle. So all the configuration items like almost some 5020 data appears in this table. They should only show the name as Oracle because that is the normalized name for all the other uh, names that were present because the normalized name for all those uh, different different names uh, is Oracle only. So even, even if I do, uh, let's say go by on the manufacturer field when the manufacturer is Oracle, it should only show me only one because as part of the guided setup, we have also uh, updated the uh, normalized name in the configuration item tables as well. Okay, so this looks good. Thank you so much for watching. This is how we can set up the normalization data services plugin. Bye bye.